I recently wrote an article on a local newspaper. It's not really a newspaper. It's like a little publication that is uh, that circulates in the town next to mine. And I've been writing there for the past uh, six months or so. And the articles there are mostly aimed towards the pet owners, which is regular people and their dogs, not to dog trainers. And so the last one that I just submitted um, just yesterday or last night, I wanted to expand on a little bit uh, just because I think it's, it's also good for this channel and for people who, uh, who might be interested in more than just pet ownership. And the subject is engagement. So what I wrote there is, you know, most people have this very high expectation of their dogs, which is, you know, my dog should listen to me. My dog should, you know, um, pay attention to me. My dog should do what I tell it to do. And if it doesn't do it, it, it should do it because it knows better. And, uh, you know, mo most people, most people's dogs are more interested in sniffing the ground than they are in engaging with them. Most people's dogs are interest, more interested in pulling way in the opposite direction of where they are, of where the owners are. Um, you know, most people's dogs are more interested in their own particular agenda. And your average person, your average dog trainer would just look at that type of dog and say, well, that dog is just not trained. And I would, I would agree with that. There's definitely that, that element there, which is training. But at the core of training, the one thing that that you have to be uh, you have to be very realistic about. You have to understand what 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 it is. At the very core of training is engagement and relationship. So the very very fundamental core of training there is relationship, right? And uh, yes, you can train a dog. You know, just through consequences, and you could, you could say to uh, uh, some sort of gadget and have the dog train itself and self reward by performing behavior A and B, so on and so forth. But traditional training doesn't, you know, doesn't rely on those gadgets, right? Traditional training, there's a person, and the person is providing consequences for behaviors. Consequences obviously are not always bad. There is good consequence, you know, so there is uh, really the quadrants, right? So reinforcement, any consequence stimulus that increases the behavior, punishment, any consequent stimulus that reduces the rate of a behavior. So at the core of that, you know, you have the person that is providing these consequences. The, the person is luring the dog into the sit, luring the dog into the down, stopping the dog from pulling, uh, and doing all these things. But most people don't do that. Most of your average pet owner does not do that. Most people live with their dogs and their dogs are mostly roommates. They're not really, you know, anything else. And a lot of these dogs are even not not even that. They're just they're just outdoors. They're like back tied to a tree or they spend like most of the day outside and there's very little interaction other than you know, hey, come inside, hey, go outside, hey, here's your food, and, you know, that's it, right? And so if you live with your dog as just a roommate, you can't expect engagement. You can't expect your dog to want to spend time with you. You know, very few dogs that are, are naturally on their own want to do that. For the most part, most dogs, if you just treat them like roommates, they're not going to respond with an amazing, um, you know, an amazing uh, engagement. Uh, there's not going to be a relationship there. And so any sort of training that comes to this person and this dog, any decent trainer, you know, any, any decent trainer, you know, even just an average dog trainer, you don't even have to be an amazing dog trainer, but every Practically every dog trainer out there knows that, yes, I can train your dog, but you are going to have to put in some of the work as well. You're going to have to follow through. Uh, or a lot of it is going to be, I'm going to train you to train your dog, you know, whether it's private lessons, group classes, 
or uh, board and train, there has to be that emphasis to the owner that this is something that has to change because I can train your dog, but I'm going to be creating that relationship and that engagement. I bring the dog back to you. If you don't change that, then obviously you're back to just being the roommate. The dog is not going to be engaged with you. There's going to be no interest. So you can't, that's something you cannot outsource. So if you're a pet owner, you can't outsource relationship. You can't have your dog um, be given this immense amount of structure.